sponsored by. All right, welcome to another episode of Inspired by True Event Sports Podcast. Here, got my boy Kenny, Phil, and Neil. How y'all doing on this blessed, blessed Wednesday? Christmas. Christmas. So you got Eve, Christmas Eve Eve right now. It's the Hello. Eve, of the, Eve of the Eve, boys. I'm All right, so let me let me ask you something. Y'all, what's uh what's the first drink you pouring up when uh, Christmas comes? Oh, or if you if you didn't start already, I, I know some people. <laughs> Kenny, so, probably, Kenny already probably started. So, so I already hit one. Uh, yeah, I gotta be Santa Claus. Come on, no. Oh yeah, that's right. Kenny. Hey, listen, listen. Another thing is drink responsibly. All right. right. Come on, man. Good message. Yeah, I'm gonna pour up a. Uh, I'm gonna pour up a little vodka, orange juice on Christmas morning. I mean, I already that's, had a couple tonight. That's but so. That's so basic. That's the morning and rum, boy. That's the morning time, <laughs> and then eggnog and rum. He, ah, he, wait a minute, because I listen. I love egg. I love eggnog, but like so I know. I know some people that just they think it's completely disgusting. So can't go wrong with it. Well, yeah, they, they even got like before. You, you, come on, so you're missing out. But they got like an alcoholic eggnog, but I, mean, that, but I still mix it with the eggnog. No, it's not even Coquito. Coquito is definitely better, but yeah, yeah, that's true. But I could definitely see like the eggnog reminds me of rum chata a little bit too. Mm-hmm. Rum mm-hmm. chata, and you get a uh, fireball with it, the cinnamon toast crunch or whatever people. Yep, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> that's a good drink right there. All right, man. Well, we had it, we had it into week 16, right. Yes, sir. 16, bro. That went by. With that one by so fast, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I I thought we weren't gonna make it past week seven, week eight. I can't believe it. This. I can't believe the season's over. I mean, we got one more week after this. Season's over. And they didn't even have to put on the extra week 18 that they built in. No, they just didn't give Pittsburgh a bye week. Right. Man, wild, <laughs> wild stuff. But um, wh- how how are we doing the pickums, Phil? If we had a a, a quick shakeup in the standings. So in last place we have Kenny as oh. eleven and fourteen. Oh, he had a tough week last week. Uh, we have Neil at third at thirteen and twelve. A positive baby. Right, so positive. Congrats, proud of you. I'm at fourteen, eleven, and second, and Lawrence is one game ahead at fifteen and ten. Hey, can, can I know what games I picked right? Uh, probably. He's got to remember back and watch last week. I, yeah, he's got to remember. <laughs> Flashback, mm-hmm. <laughs> flashback, flashback. We don't even keep, we gotta check we gotta check Phil's numbers because he can't even tell us who we picked. Right. I, you gotta <laughs> I gotta know who I picked. Watch the video. Phil just, Phil just be making stuff the video. Up. Um you think if I really wanted to mess things up, I put me in second. Yeah, That's it's true. until the until yeah, the end until of the year. Week. Then, yeah, then he's gonna <laughs> jump. Exactly. Gotta right. Make, then he's, he's gonna, gonna make like, it look believable. Lawrence, he's gonna be like Lawrence was leading the whole time, but I came up made a comeback. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you have trivia, um, I gotta have this at least. So we got we got this week. Um, obviously, Christmas is coming up. Um, what are what are some of the things y'all looking forward to? With like obviously, COVID is here. You ain't gonna be able to spend much time with many people, just your immediate family, whoever's in your house. Um, so, what you guys gonna be looking forward to? Presents, just presents. 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 Looking for my my daughter's finally old enough to kind of understand what's going on. So. It's gonna be a fun year, giving her gifts and seeing her get excited on the morning. What kind uh, of cookies are you gonna leave for yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm going with, right. I, see, I, I got my grandmother. She does cookies every year, so I told her I need some almond paste put aside for me because I need my almond paste cookies. And I told Alessia she's got to leave Santa Claus some eggnog. I was gonna say you, gonna you don't want eggnog, milk, right? Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> Santa Claus doesn't want milk. All right, so so let me. <laughs> when are you? All right, so you told her that Santa is real. Yes. Good parent. It's only two. I mean, if when I said he wasn't, she wasn't on the same. Two years old. <laughs> You're supposed to wait till four and then tell her. Oh, He's not he real. I'm Santa. Four, I'm Santa. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, going to the pickles, man. We got obviously the Christmas games coming up, um, or just the Chris, just one single Christmas game, right? Correct. Saints. You got the Saints and Vikings, um, and then the other pickles games. We got the Giants, Ravens. Colts in the Steelers, Rams in Seattle, and then you got Tennessee and Green Bay. So let's get right to it with uh with the Saints and the Vikings. You got the Vikings coming to New Orleans um 4 30 on Friday. This Friday, this Christmas. Who you guys got for that game? 
I'm in last, so I'll go first. Yeah. Um, since I got to catch everybody, I'm just going to pick Minnesota. It, it doesn't help me if I pick the same way as everybody. <laughs> um, so I'm going with the Vikings. Uh, last time I picked the Saints, I didn't want to pick the Saints. I regretted it because they did end up losing. So I'm going to go with my gut, and I'm going to go with what the picks tell me I need to do, and that's Minnesota. I think Dalvin Cook has a big game. Respectable. That's a pretty good pick. Uh, I'm going to follow suit. I'm going to go Minnesota as well. I'm going to go Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen. I'm going to go Dalvin Cook. I'm going to go Drew Brees can't throw the ball. I'm going to go Saints lose by 10 points. Merry Christmas to me. You Merry Christmas. They don't want to see me happy. That's all it is. They don't want to come back next week and, be, and have me enjoy the win. That's all it is. I, I got your back. Okay. I'm going to go with um, the Saints just because it isn't the playoff. So don't expect the Vikings to win this game. So I'm going to go with uh, the Saints by three since it's not the playoffs. Got the Saints by I got the Saints by two touchdowns, two t- two touchdowns plus at home. Um, just played in a shootout. Um, I think I think it's a game where AK is heavily involved. Um, he what I feel like he's been he not a drop off due to him, but like just having Taysom at quarterback. So I think he they're gonna get him more involved. And then obviously there's no Mike Thomas, so I think he's the key to this game. So. I got the Saints by two touchdowns. So nah, no Mike Thomas. Wait, so there's, no, there's no Mike Thomas. Yeah. He's the key to this game. AK, Elvin Kamara. AK. Oh, okay. My bad. AK. Okay. I misunderstood AK. you. Got you. Got you. Okay. Good pick, Lawrence. But, um, Shout well, out to Lil Jordan Humphrey, the number one receiver <laughs> in that locker room right now. Right. Like, Lil Jordan. But, Kenny um, Stills is out, by the way. He's out there, by the way. He's not on, he's not on a football team right now. Yeah. Just so, so uh, just so the NFL knows. I don't know how it's possible, but okay. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Nope. Well, Unless it's off the field stuff. I think this year people are just cautious with bringing in free agents at this point, too. Yeah. Because especially, like, especially a playoff team. Right. Even if you bring in Kenny Stills right now, he can't play with you until the first week of the playoffs. Yeah. So if you were to do it, now would be the time if you're going to take the risk. Right. To right. be honest, if you wait any later, it's over. To no point. Um, but going from there, we got we got the Giants and the Ravens. Um, we got the Giants going to Baltimore. Um, so who do you guys think is going to take that one? I got Baltimore. Um, I don't even think it's close this time, actually, because Baltimore, Baltimore's got to win out because they're on the outside looking in at the moment. Um, the Giants – is it going to be Daniel Jones? Is it going to be Colt McCoy? Who knows? I think now is where the wheels start to fall off. They still have a, a solid defense, but the solid defense isn't going to do anything when you can't score points. So I'm going with Baltimore. Right. I picked the Giants last week. Let me down. I mean, they laid a freaking goose egg last week. It was bad. Well, you were praying for them to win. You needed to do the Cardinals. <laughs> no, they played the, the Browns. Oh, they played the Browns. They the Browns. Oh, yeah, 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 Monday, Monday night. night. Monday night football, yeah. The week before. Or Sunday night yeah, football. These weeks have been Sunday. flying, man. They I know, it's crazy. Fly. But, yeah, I picked, the, I picked the Giants last week. I thought their defense would hold, but mm-hmm. Cleveland tore them up. I'm going to go Baltimore here by 20. <laughs> I'm going to go with um, Baltimore as well. They got, they, got, they started rolling against the Browns. They completely destroyed the, the Jaguars. And no offense, Giants, I, I, I agree with Kenny and – Neil is going to be a blowout for the Ravens. Look at the details. Lamar Jackson, new era <laughs> in the flesh. Yeah, yeah, this is this is their their must win. He's uh he's playing. I think he's playing a little bit better now. Um, he's I don't think he's had that he took many. a shit. <laughs> He relieved himself of. So if, they, if he finds a way to not turn the ball over or rely on the run all day and tries to get some air yards, it'd be nice to see him get air yards and get over a buck fifty in the game. But I think I think the Ravens win regardless because they got Colt McCoy and then Daniel Jones is playing. Was he sixty percent? Got to be sixty percent. Not even. I don't think. Not even. Well, so. as, as crazy as it is, like we were saying, they need to give him an outside threat. 
And I mean, I know Dez is no threat now at this point in his career, but they lined him up out there last week finally, and we saw what happened. They put up a, a ton of points. Like it, that's what happens when you when you can't flood the middle of the field against Lamar Jackson. He's going to make you pay for it because he now he's a threat to run on you. He can get it to Mark Andrews in the middle of the field, but when there's no outside threats, they're just going to pack the middle of the field. Yeah, I thought Dez was done for the season after that whole. Um, no, uh, he, he, said, he said he was. Uh, he was in his feelings. Yeah, he's yeah. hyper emotional. Yeah, exactly. My man was. He was on the couch with his wine. He was just tweeting like me. He wasn't. <laughs> he's not week to week. I was wondering. I was wondering if that was actually good or not. Yeah, no, nah, he was. He was emotional. He was hurt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I definitely got. I definitely got Baltimore in this one. If and I, I get, go ahead. No, nah, never mind. I was gonna say if we're picking Indy Pittsburgh next, you can just skip over me. <laughs> oh man! Oh man, Rivers! They gotta go to Pittsburgh. We got Colts, and we got the uh, we got Corvette, the TikTok stars, we got Cor- Corvette, Corvette, <laughs> the Steelers. Um, I think Von Bell is still in possession of Juju Soul after that hit. <laughs> he 100 is. And bro, I'm so mad. The Saint, I'm so mad. The Saints got rid of him. He's such a good player. He's, he's a turnover machine. I'm watching him for the Bengals. He flies. He flies, man. Shout out to Von Bell. Yeah, but I'm still who, going who with, with. I'm still going with Pittsburgh though, because um, they lost three straight. And I don't pick Old Man Rivers because Neil picks him every week, so I pick against him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to, he hasn't um, let me down the past two weeks. Also, too, because I picked the Browns to fall off a cliff and not make the playoffs. So I can't be wrong about that, and then have them win the division. So Pittsburgh's got to win. They got to win. Right. That would be crazy if they won the right. division and you've been, you been sitting on them the whole the whole. Right. Because, like, like, if they get, like, a seventh seed, I'd be like, eh, I was wrong, but I was close. But if they win the division, oh, what's my yeah. excuse now? They're sitting at number five right now. Right. So, I'm, I'm going with yeah. Pittsburgh. Um, uh, they haven't been playing great. Everyone knows it. But it, it is what it is. You, you don't have a bye week. You've been playing, like, dog poop. At some point, you're going to win one of these games. So, why not this week? They ain't going to make any noise in the playoffs, but Definitely. they got to win again at some point. Anemic offense against a very good defense never ends well. Yeah, but their defense isn't anything to laugh at either. It's not like the Colts have a prolific offense. It's going to – I think it's going to be a boring game. They got pieces. They got pieces. They got yeah, pieces. they got – but so is the Pittsburgh defense still. Uh, yeah. I think – I don't know. Like, when you look at – when you really look at the Colts offense – they're really like they may not be jump jump out you jump out at you on the paper, but when you watch oh, no, T Y right, Hilton, Jonathan Taylor, Michael Pittman, Pittman like they got like, guys, Naeem Hines, they got. I think they're like three tight ends deep. Like that's it. That's a tough. That's a tough offense. Okay. And the O line, uh, tackle to tackle. That's that's a tough offense to stop. So it is, but Old Man Rivers is gonna gonna give you one. He gonna give you one. I, mean, I never really one. liked him. I never really liked him in the Chargers because he. I felt like he always turned the ball over a lot. That's what I'm saying. He's gonna. He's gonna give one to Minka. <laughs> he's gonna give one. Has Minka been healthy the whole season? Yeah. Yeah. Minka made yeah. a lot of noise first half of the year, and then people just kind of stopped going his direction. Yeah. So said, well, wait a minute. So so what is it? Is Neil this time or Neil? You're not picking. N- Neil said, "Old man." All right. So we not we're gonna disqual- disqualify all your picks. You not. You, this is not going on. You're not about to go four and zero. You will have the opportunity to go four and one. You have to pick all. Oh, he did. He said. He said, "Old man Rivers." Oh, you he said, said old man even, Rivers. Yeah, yeah. He said he's it's, not even. He's, he's don't even have any time. Philip Colts. Rivers it's, is on the podcast. Oh, I picks. thought he was against. I thought he was against Rivers. That's yeah, yeah. no. Oh, okay. He said, yeah, like we're talking about Philip Rivers as a, as, as having turnovers, but he has twenty two touchdowns and nine interceptions this year. Oh no, I'm no, saying I'm saying in when just we historically the we're talking right with the Chargers. Yeah, well, this ain't the Chargers. That's true. That's hit the Chargers, and that's my man. He's got. He's got. Listen. He's in. A, he's in a great situation. He's got pieces around him that are staying there for sixteen games. He that's he nice. puts never up, had that. Never he puts had up, that. He'll put up fifty. He'll put up fourteen, maybe twenty himself, and then he'll go home to his wife and put up forty. Easy. That was just so unnecessary, but okay. Easy. <laughs> he's got about up, twelve bro. kids. Fill you up. <laughs> so with um, Pitt, even though um, the Colts running backs like Jonathan Taylor's on a roll, I feel like the Pittsburgh's going to have enough pressure to put on Philip Rivers to, to have him cause those 
turnovers to Minka or maybe a fumble here and there. I think it's going to be a closer game since they're struggling. Maybe um, I see the Steelers winning by four, by late touchdown by Big Ben. So I got uh, Pittsburgh. Yo, me and Phil are on the same page this week. This is dangerous. I don't think that's happened ever. Well, besides Minnesota and New Orleans, but. But but we know I really probably would have picked New Orleans, but for the sake of the picks, I gotta go Minnesota. No, for for me being a Saints fan, that's why you. Not yeah, don't lie. <laughs> the honesty, but um, I'm gonna go here, like like y'all said, man. Four in a row after going eleven and zero. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. And I'm just too good of a coach. Yeah, that that's that's not gonna happen. So I I think um in their home. I would be a little I'll be a little iffy um if they were going to Indy, but they're gonna be in Pittsburgh. Uh do they got fans in Pittsburgh or no? No fans? Uh no fans. Damn. But if uh what is his name? Uh Butterfingers boy. Deontay. If he shows up, that's an advantage to them. Get a couple catches and in- but those D bo- those DBs are mauler, so I don't know. They're they'll they'll rock with anybody in the league, to be honest, I think. They got four receivers and a tight end, though. Like, so yeah, that's true. That's true. So like, I'm, you're, I'm gonna you're take right. The but they got I'm gonna take the options. Steelers. I'm gonna take the Steelers by uh by a late field goal, and Indy's gonna have the ball late, and they don't get it done. That's what I think will happen. I'm the only person picking Indy. Yeah. Yeah. Lone Wolf. How? Yeah, go ahead. Now you're gonna be like, I'm never picking them next season again. When the- never. <laughs> That's my man. <laughs> and not pick against my man. All right, we're gonna go right from there. Um, this is gonna be one of my my games to watch. Me personally, I'm gonna watch this one. Um, it's gonna be the Rams and Seahawks. So, who you guys got for this game and why? I've gone back and forth so Talk often to him, with Kenny. this. Talk to him, Kenny. I will say I am going with the Rams this week because we'll get into it a little bit later, but. I think that the Rams losing last week was a calculated move by Sean McVay. Um, so, but I don't see them losing this game because it's a division game. You don't want to lose division games. Um, I, I'm going with the Rams. I just think their defense is too much. I think the Seattle defense isn't enough to slow down that offense enough. So, it's going to be a close one. I'll go LA by four. Talk to him. This is this is a this is a must win for either side. To Talk honest. to us. Must win. Not a must win. Both teams are in the playoffs. Yeah, but you get better situations. It's a must win. If the Rams win this game, they they win the NFC West. You're going to see. You're going to see Washington as of right now. So. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's why I think losing to the Jets was calculated. We we put up thirty on Washington <laughs> early in the year. They're not the same. You got Haskins going to the strip club now. He's coming back. Different quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> he don't Who's have next? captain. He don't have Who's captain status. He don't have captain status. Um, fill you up. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have to agree with Kenny and Neil on this one. Surprisingly, just the way Seattle's playing, it's hard to trust them at the moment. And oh. even though the Rams had a bit of a slip up last week, I feel like they're gonna bounce back. And because that division, winning that division is very so important. And I just see the Rams as the better team at the moment. So I'm going go with LA, even though. It, Hurts me to say that. So this is the way I'm going to separate from y'all because y'all already know in Russ we trust. Yeah. I yep. want to. Russ, Russ, more Russ, and more Russ. <laughs> Seattle. Can I get a score? <laughs> Seattle by six. Okay. That's not Seattle I mean. Seattle by six. Oh, what do you got for a score? Yeah, Kenny, what you got for a score? I, I got you guys by four. Oh, yeah, he said yeah, that. Right? Yeah, he did say that. Yep, yep, yep. I was asking you, Neil. Oh, me? Oh, boy. That's a blow. <laughs> All last right. time, so last time we played Seattle, it was obviously at home. So we have a little bit of a home field advantage. I feel like so far we haven't lost it so far except for the Jets. Um, DK got locked down by my man Jalen Ramsey. Aaron, Don- Aaron Donald had a couple sacks. We, I think we sacked. I think we sacked uh, Russell Wilson five we're not, times. We're not about to go down this rabbit hole. Five times gonna, that game. <laughs> I'm going to save you the pain right now. We're not going to go down this rabbit hole. Okay? This game. This game is a little bit different though because the Rams are coming off a loss to the Jets. The Jets. 
So this game is like, like I feel like the Rams are going to come out crazy. Uh, they're going to do something crazy, and this might be crazy. This is going to be like this might be like a third. This might be like a thirty-five point. We might put up thirty-five. Big. It might be thirty. It might be thirty-five fourteen. Rams win in Seattle. All right, we're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go from here. We're gonna go from there. That is crazy. That's just wild. But we're gonna go from there. We're gonna go with Tennessee and Green Bay. Um, who do you guys got for this for this game and why? What's the story? Yeah, I, I got Green Bay. Uh, I got Green Bay by ten. Actually, I think because um. They put up a dud against Carolina, really. Like, they came out real hot, and then they just fell off. And Aaron Rodgers, even after the game, like, he was not happy. Like, they won the game, and it, you would have thought someone, like, took Christmas away from him the way he was talking about it. Like, he was not excited about it. And he even said, he goes, we play like this, we're not going to win a playoff game. So that's just a fact. I think that this team knows that. Mm -hmm. I also – Green Bay's been my pick to go to the Super Bowl out of the NFC, so – they got to turn this thing around, and I think they do this week. And I think they do it against a playoff team. I think they won by ten points. Uh, I'm gonna go Tennessee here. I think Tennessee's hot right now. Uh, oh, they just put up 45 last week. I think they're hot. I think Green Bay's cooling off a little bit. I mean, they're still winning games, but they always win games. I think they're cooling off. I'll go Tennessee by three, late late field goal maybe. I'm going to go with um, Green Bay. Like Kenny said, Aaron Rodgers seemed a little upset about the way the Packers played. They're going to need a game to, like, brighten up their Christmas spirit and keep the NFL on watch to remind themselves that they're the Packers and they're the number one seed. So I'm going to say – I'm going to agree with Kenny. Packers by 10. Scary, Phil. Scary. You're my thing, like – Derrick Henry. More Derrick Henry. And then more Derrick Henry. That boy. And then a little Corey Davis. If if the Titans defense could take the ball away from Aaron Rodgers, which we think which we already know is difficult as it is, yep. I think they find a way they win this game. But I think Tennessee is gonna win this game. Um, I think this could go into overtime. I think this game could go in overtime. I'm not gonna lie to you. We, in Tennessee, how many get times they've had what two or three? three? This will be if they, I think this is the third one if they go into overtime with Green Bay. So see the thing that scares me with Tennessee though mm -hmm. is if Green Bay comes out hot like they usually do, they usually start hot, and Tennessee comes out cold. We all know their game is the, the run game, but are they? But against Green Bay, are you going to be able to run yourself out of a fourteen nothing hole? Yeah, that's true. Because you get like, that three and out, you give him the ball back. He, you know, he going to DA. Right, so it, it's. I mean, it, it, I mean it, if you if you can then cool down Green Bay, okay, but that's asking a lot. If you put yourself in a hole and now you got to rely on the run game to come back, it, it's not an easy thing to do against Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Well, Ryan Tannehill, Ryan Tannehill's numbers are real good this year. He's uh, oh, numbers wise, he's top five quarterback in the league this year. But numbers wise, his numbers, wait, in my share? opinion, his numbers are good when he's able to mix in the run. If you got to rely on him to strictly throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball, and the other mm -hmm. team knows you're going to throw the ball, can he beat you? When they know you're going to throw the ball, that's right. what I need to know. Can Green Bay's run defense hold up? Can they stay? Right. Can it, in a cold environment? Are they going to? Is in Green Bay? Do we uh, know? I believe so. Which that means I it's going to be I really a running game. Cold. It's yeah. going to be cold. Tennessee's built though. Tennessee's built for this. Tennessee's built yeah. for this cold yes. weather games. You know because. You do not want to get hit by Derrick Henry when nope. it's below zero outside. You do not want to get hit by that offensive line either. There's a that reason why. Hurt. There's a reason why. <laughs> Especially when they're 30 minutes into the game and Derrick Henry's getting the ball for the 40th time and they got to try to tackle him again. <laughs> and that carry number carry number 30 through 40 is like he just started the game off. Yeah, he gets stronger. That's the like truth. crazy. But I, I don't know. That's, that's why I think if Green Bay's run defense can hold um, – for a full game, then I think it's another story. But Tennessee, Tennessee's good. Tennessee's good. All right. So going from there, we had uh, one of the young stars, uh, one young, two young stars. One just emerged on the scene, um, Jalen Hurts, and you obviously had Kyler Murray going at it. Um, they had a hell of a game this past Sunday. So what y'all, what y'all think of that game? If you got like uh, the, saw the highlights or anything like that. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that game because I try to watch any NFC West game I can. Um, Arizona's offense looked good again, but again, it's the Philadelphia defense that is just god awful. Yeah, the DBs, the DBs are suspect. They're suspect as hell. Yeah. 
And Philly has no their, – their run game is – not that not that good. Uh, besides Jalen Hurts running the ball, take some pressure off, but he can't. Thank you. Yeah, I mean he can't he can't go crazy with that. Jalen Hurts looks amazing. He looks like. I mean the hype is, hype is real. What can he say? When that tape come out. Yeah, so I know. we we, we got a pumper. I know, but, I know, but the hype is oh yeah, right now, yeah. The, the it, hype is the hype is real. Right the hype is real right now for sure. When that the, man, he's gonna play in the NFL. No matter you keep or not, he's gonna be able to. He's making throws. When he, those DNs, when those DNs stop running like their head is cut off, and they stop and make him actually start to throw the ball instead of running up the field and letting yeah, him run a wild is gonna be he's, different. He's still making NFL throws though. That's it's not like you can put tape on any guy if they if they can make the throw, they can make the throw. Right, and that he can toss the ball like that's no, I like it. That's I like no him. joke. So I, I don't know. I, I, Carson Wentz, I'm sorry, but what if Carson Wentz is in this game? If Carson Wentz is in this game, is is the game close? Is Arizona and Philadelphia close? Like it was? We can't. We don't know. We that's a what if scenario. I don't think so. I don't think so. We don't know. Carson Wentz has looked anemic this year, and. That and another thing, the, the another thing to me too. For once. Yeah, the team yeah. don't play because you, uh, you saw, I saw it against the Saints. They were playing air, energized. They're jumping on the sideline, dancing. They didn't do none of that week fourteen before. So I would be ready to fight a lot of them people in the locker room because that line wasn't <laughs> blocking for him. The receivers was not going to get extra yards after catches. Miles Sanders was not playing on when he get a screen pass. He was tripping in the backfield, falling. Like, and, and as soon as Hurts comes in, he's breaking tackles, stiff-arming people. It's a much different tone, and that's disrespectful to that man. Yeah, I, and my thing is where I, I just get nervous with Hurts is it, it's been two and a half weeks. I mean, he's been phenomenal. I'm not saying yeah. you, you, you can't watch and say he hasn't been great. He has been great. But I get nervous with crowning guys that soon. Like, yeah. I, I get nervous with saying someone's bad that soon, too. I mean, we got to – there's a reason why it's a, a season is 16 weeks, and mm -hmm. there's a reason why guys have – you have to prove yourself for multiple seasons before you're good. Like, even mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes, he had his historic MVP season, but we all said, let's see it again. He did it again. Now we know he's good. Lamar Jackson, MVP season, we said, let's see it again. He fell down a little bit. So now I don't think people are talking about him as a top three quarterback anymore like they mm -hmm. were last year, and rightfully so. I think we have to see Jalen Hurts do it for an extended period of time because – Anybody can be great for five games. Nick Foles was great for five games. Let me see you do it over sixteen weeks consistently. Over a, uh, over sure. a eight sure. ten uh, eight and ten year career. Right, right. As a quarterback, career. exactly. You, I, you, as a quarterback, you got to give me eight years where you were consistent. Yeah, yeah, I'm, ever, not, I'm not crowning him MVP. I'm just saying. Oh no no no! And I'm not, not you so much, but just generally speaking, people are ready to. You know, oh, he's the great – he is good. I'm not saying he's not good. I've, and, and you got to give him a chance to see if he can run the show. But I, I just get nervous with people say, ready to say that he is the franchise quarterback. I mean, yes, if I'm Philly, I'm probably running with him next year. But I'm not giving the title franchise quarterback till I see it for a year. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty much the um, boost that the Philly team needed to fight for the playoffs. I just see, like, you know, the Giants start slipping up. At the sellouts. They're going to be between either Washington or Philly for the division lead. It's, well, I picked Philly, so obviously I'm going to try to do my best. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's so dis – it's just disgusting watching them. It's just disgusting. Like, and not even from – not from, like, the shit talking that I normally do. Just watching them when he came in the game and the team just changes. And it's the second time this has happened. I can't wait to – I hope he goes to Washington or something. They go crush them every year. To be honest. I think he ends up in Indy, though. Indy, maybe Denver, San Fran as well. Someone, like, and Denver, don't sleep Denver, on New England. <laughs> you know, Listen, you know, Bill. Don't, like this. don't give Bill Belichick Carson. He like, Please he do like not Bird give Bill Belichick like Carson. Birdman Birdman like this. Yeah. <laughs> do not, because that's what's gonna happen, though. Like someone is gonna gift wrap Carson once to Bill Belichick, and they're gonna go back to their dominant run. Yeah. Well, also depends. Who, what not without any weapons, they're not. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's gonna be the yeah, same thing it. that happened in Philly again. He's got scrubs. But listen, weapons. listen, listen. What what pick do they have now? What pick are they looking at right now? 15th, 16th? The Patriots, right? So hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, right? Get out you got there. you got yeah, you go Alab, you can go to the SEC. Any receiver is a stud. Or Clemson, Amari okay. Rogers, I think. Yeah. You go get you tell me you go and get Kyle Kyle Pitts from Florida. And you top 15, that's a nice piece right there. 
But we, we will talk about that's a better. better, that's a more durable Evan Ingram. Yeah, they, they have better, they have, they have better draft success for tight ends. But you look at their wide receiver draft list, all of them almost like I think Basura. Like, Basura. like usually like, like 10 out of like the 15 of them are out of the NFL. So you said what? Like 10 out of the, 10 or 11 out of the 15 um, receivers that the Patriots drafted so far. All, almost all of them are out of the I think, I think it was more than that. I think the only two that are still in the league is Braxton Berrios and Nikhil Harry. And, and Berrios is on the Jets. Yeah. yeah. He's not even on the Patriots. Aaron Dobson, so, John. But the, the, the receiver draft is going to be is gonna be started this year. Why, you got Waddle. Um, I think there's Monte another. Monte Smith. Yeah, yeah it, it's two of them. Well, Waddle, Waddle yeah. sat out for Waddle. the whole year. You got Chase yeah, coming. Smith. Yeah, Jamar Chase. Right. Uh, Amari right. Rogers from Clemson is, is a guy. Yep. So hopefully we lose the Jets coming up. <laughs> that's a whole another. I, I think the Jets are saying the same thing. Hopefully right. we lose the Patriots. Listen, I got, mm-hmm. I got a take on the Jets, so I'm glad we're transitioning to that right now. All right. Because Sam Darnold, literally, by Frank Gore catching that ball on fourth and seven, I believe that Sam Darnold saved his career. Because hear me out here, the the Jacks. I think Jacksonville. Now that they have the number one pick, yeah, they are not good. giving that thing back. They are losing, losing, losing. So Trevor Lawrence is going to go number one. We all know that. Yeah. But I, I think if I'm the Jets sitting at two, I mean, I like Justin Fields a lot. But if I'm the Jets and I already have Sam Darnold and I have so many other holes too, am I going to take Justin Fields the number two pick or am I going to get something else? I don't think the Jets draft, draft Justin Fields now, which means Sam Darnold literally just saved his career. Yeah, I think they're projected an offensive lineman. I forgot who it was, though. Yeah. It's not the or, and what, what's or, do wonderf- you, or do you draft him or do you draft him and then send Darnold for picks? Yeah, but it, you're not going mean, to get anything. You're, yeah. that's what, you're not going to get anything of value. Like you're not, so I think you you fill another hole. And what what's also wonderful for me is then sitting at the three pick is Cincinnati, who's not going to take a quarterback. Mm-hmm. We know they're not taking a quarterback. Then at four, if the Falcons keep losing like we should because who we have left, we're going to jump the Panthers zone. We'll get the four pick, which means we can draft Justin Fields to sit behind Matt Ryan for a year or two. How ideal was it that the Jets beat the Rams? I'd never been more excited for a Jets win in my life. Somebody's going to trade Justin, uh, hold on, Justin wait, Fields hold on. is from like, Georgia. Hold on. I don't like this. I don't like this. Justin Fields is from Georgia. I don't like He's this. a homegrown kid. <laughs> Kenny, He's going to come back to Atlanta. Kenny tell, him, Kenny, tell him how the Jets won that game. The Jets won that game, too, because – Sean McVay has a big brain. He looked at the at the standings and said, wait a minute. Right now I'm projected Tom Brady's got to come here and play me. Or if I lose, I drop to five and I get to go to Washington. Yep, we're losing this game. And that's what happened. Sean McVay lost that game because he'd rather play Washington in the first round than play Tom Brady in the first round. And Ooh. I do not blame him. Play. It was an all around great conspiracy, move. Conspiracy, conspiracy, hot take. It was, it was an all around great move because now the Jets <laughs> don't get Trevor Lawrence, the Rams don't play Tom Brady, and the Falcons get Justin Fields. It couldn't have been any better for me. It, like the more I thought about it, I said, "Wow." So this you say, been the so best you think Sunday. he's so you think he w- wait? I'm confused. So you you think he did all of that for those chain of events? Oh no, he did it so that they don't have to play Tom Brady in the first round. Everything else just happened to fall into place for me. No, let me ask you something. You ain't gotta go to a host field, is it? Yes or no? Are you are you afraid to see the Bucks round one? Yes. You're scared to see the Bucks. Yes. Okay. You don't want to see Tom Brady in the playoffs as much as we. It's, it's I hate it. It had to be y'all, man. <laughs> I hate it had to be y'all. <laughs> I don't want yeah, right, right now, though, they're not like, right I, now. I want but, no smoke. It's it's hard to beat a team that's what twice, I'm saying. Right let now, alone three times. We got right now, Seattle's got to play them. I'm good. Yeah, that's, if I'm Seattle, I don't want that matchup. No, okay. Seattle definitely doesn't want that matchup. He's <laughs> playing right now. They definitely Yo, that's that. crazy. Yeah, I'm good on that. I'll go, <laughs> I said I'm good. I'll go play strip club, man, and, and but, is on his home field. But really, the, who, who would have thought that uh, Frank Gore catching that ball – Triggered all those things. Like, that's wild. Think about the he. They could have literally changed the NFL for the next ten years because Trevor Lawrence was going to be a Jet. For, Bro, that's like, crazy. Thinking about like, think you about breaking that. this down, like I know. that's that's it. Because Sam Darnold's going to be a Jet now for probably the rest of his career at this point. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. All, all, listen. To be honest, 
Like they have all these qu- quarterbacks have potential. You have to yeah. help build them. Bring it out of it. Like they That's- want they want people like they want people like Russell Wilson, where the roster was dirt and he's still carrying them. And now the roster's up now, where he has good names and shit. They want that from these guys, and they they just not, don't have it in them. It's not a thing. It's really yeah. not a thing. You know how not- lucky Seattle is to have Russell yeah. Wilson. Yeah. But I also think the, if, if, the, quarterback. Yep. if the Jets don't pick um, a quarterback, though, it shows they only were taking Trevor Lawrence because this kid is a once in a lifetime. You can't pass. If you had the number one pick, unless you have Patrick Mahomes as your quarterback, it almost is impossible to pass up on Trevor Lawrence, though. So, I, in a way, I can't blame the Jets if they would have taken him. But mm-hmm. now that you don't have the one pick, you're dumb to take a quarterback. When you have so many other holes to fill, do you think Just, it'd be smart for like teams like the the Jets? Well, they the obviously I know the Jags. They're not. They're going to get a quarterback. That's yeah. what they need. Like they say the Jets, right? Do you think they trade out of that position nah. to, get, to get a bunch of picks? No way. Here's the thing. Only reason I think that they won't because there's not going to be a lot of people begging for that pick because you like I said, you know, since he's not taking a quarterback, yeah, you know. Carolina might take a quarterback. They might not. Atlanta also might take a quarterback. Yeah. They might not. So, so you. But no. My point is, if if I'm trading to the number two slot, only way I'm trading up to number two is if I know the quarterback's not, not going to be on the board. We don't know that. So it's I'm not giving you the rest right. of my future when I might have been able to get that quarterback in my pick, anyways. So the Jets are picking um, best available. That's after probably. Yeah. They're probably going to go Penny Sewell, the the uh, tackle from Oregon. Or yeah. they'll go, or they'll go skill position because they're real light. Yeah. Right, which is that, that's what I'm. That's what I'm. Like, yeah. They, that, they that need point, a skill position, but yeah. do you reach it too on a skill position thing? Is the thing that's yeah. where Lawrence is comes in. Yeah. Like if I know my skill position guy's going to be there at seven, I might take anything just to drop to seven. Because yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. you, go, you go and get, you go and get, you drop to seven. Like oh, give me two. I'll seconds. get one of them receivers. It doesn't have to be picks either. You could trade for players. Yeah, true. right. For example, let, let's say that because um. Miami's got all – they got two picks now. They got the top five, top ten pick with Houston, mm-hmm. and they got their pick. So let's just say, for example, Houston or Miami says, okay, we'll give you one of our first-round picks and our Joe Blow on defense. The Jets might just say, okay, because they know that the skill position guy they want is going to be available in the top ten still. So. A lot of yeah, it. So, lot so of right now – Around Carson Wentz, too. Yes. So, so, so right now – so right now the draft pick for 2021 is you got Jags, Jets, Bengals, Panthers, uh, Falcons, the Dolphins because Bill O'Brien is stupid, yep. um, the Eagles, the Cowboys, Chargers, and then the Giants. That's top ten. Like literally, look at that. The only teams in there that need a quarterback right now are the Jags, the Falcons, and the, and and the, the Falcons and the Falcons and Panthers are on the iffy like. You have a quarterback. That's the Falcons kind of don't need a quarterback. They, well, no, the, the no, Panthers but, need a quarterback. Future, yeah, future. But the so, thing is, so the y'all, Falcons, y'all think it was just stupid for the the Panthers to get Teddy? No, I don't think it was stupid. I think he's a really good placeholder before yeah, they draft exactly. a future quarterback. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 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 that's that's when Neil. I agree with you on the Falcons don't need a quarterback, but I think that the Falcons are at the point where Matt Ryan is getting older, and there's going to be a new regime. I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of Matt Ryan. I don't. I, that's why I said even if we draft Fields, he's got to sit for two years. But I, I've watched football long enough to know that when you get a new GM and a new head coach, what comes with that? They're going to want their own players. It, it, I hate to see it happen. That happens it, at every every single level. Like, Matt, Matt Ryan is 35 years old. You're going to pro- hopefully get a young head coach mm-hmm. and an energetic GM, and they're going to say, all right, mm-hmm. Matt, it's been fun. We'll give you a year or two because we can't cut you because we owe you too much money. But this guy is who we're riding with when your two years are up. I hate it. I think it's stupid, but I think that's what happens. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting offseason, to say the least. Definitely, definitely. Um, is there any uh, – well, we obviously we obviously got the the playoff hunt. So what's y'all, what's y'all take on who's in the hunt right now? Who jumps? Who jumps in? That isn't in right now. Phil, the Patriots still making the playoffs? <laughs> yeah, they still got like a like a little rabbit hole of how they can make it in. Who's our? Oh yeah. Who's our? Who's our bubble team? Uh, <laughs> bubble teams right now for the NFC is the Bears, Vikings, the entire NFC East, and then <laughs> you have the AFC. You have the Ravens and the Raiders. 
So I picked the Raiders earlier this year to get into the playoffs. Watching them play lately, I don't like that pick anymore. It's gross. But we don't flip-flop on this podcast. But I think the Baltimore Ravens will get in over the Raiders. Uh, well, who are they, who they going to knock out? Cleveland. Yeah, who are they going to knock Miami. out? That's what I'm they, saying. They, yeah. You know who I'm going oh. with, Kenny. I'm going with Cleveland. Get them out. You're going to lose the next two. Get them out, out of here. here. Yo, y'all are crazy, bro. And then for the NFC, uh, I, I – well, the NFC East, one NFC East team is going to make it. So it's not the whole NFC East is on the bubble. It's a, it, one, only one team is going to make it from there. Well, right, but they're all like in the bubble because they, they're all in the bubble. Still oh, a, I see what you're saying. Chance yeah. against okay. Each other. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got you. I think Washington makes it. Um, I picked Dallas earlier. Uh, we don't flip flop on the podcast, though, but I think uh, I think Washington <laughs> makes it. Um, only if you go to the ca- casino, bro. They went, exactly. They win, <laughs> they win the division, they get in. Uh, and then I think uh, NFC. Oh man, who else? Who was? Who else is on that bubble? You said. Oh, that's right. V- uh, Vikings and Vikings Bears. Bears. I think the Bears get in. David Montgomery, uh, what's going on? So oh, going Matt to... Nagy. So Matt what do you think Nagy. happens? Matt Nagy. Do, He's a terrible. Do you think coach. that? You think that the the Buccaneers fall or the uh, Cardinals, the Cardinals fall? I think the Cardinals fall. Um, the well, the card. Actually, I need the Cardinals to win on Saturday. That if the Cardinals win, the Rams clinch the playoffs. Uh, it's 100%. The Rams clinch it. So I need them to win. So I don't know. Yeah. Um, but they playing? Matt, uh, they're playing yeah. the Niners. Yeah, the Niners. Lawrence, the, Nagy is still the coach of the Bears. Yes. Yeah. So how is he a terrible coach? Because the scheme he was running, like he stopped. I just read, a, I read an article on this. Enlightened. He stopped, he stopped calling the plays. Oh, he did. And, mm. and, and he started in the last three weeks. David yeah, that's Montgomery, when Montgomery started going off. Yeah. 300 plus rushing yards total between the three weeks. What, four or five touchdowns, so, too? Who was really the problem? I he's trying to run. He's trying to copy what Andy Reid was doing, and you don't have the personnel for it. Or the coaching skill to do it. Andy Reid is an offensive mastermind. What I No, he was under – Matt Nagy was under him for a while. Yeah, but so, still. Like, that was like – Andy Reid. Hey, Amen. Nah, he you, you could kind of see what he was doing with Tariq. Oh, I'm not getting off on the Bears. All right, somebody else go. Uh, up for the Tariq Cohen. He's trying to make him Tariq Hill. And he's yeah, not, exactly. He's not him. For the that Bears. really is exactly what he was trying to do, too. Yeah. For the um, bubble spots, I'm going to have to say, I think the Ravens slide in the seven seed. Because I, I don't think, I mean, Miami's good and all, but I don't see them making it this year. I see oh. Miami. What he's got Miami. Stop, stop, get. Speak, stop speaking with your heart, Phil. Just because they just knocked you guys out. It's well, okay. no, it's wait. No, he, he has no, a no, it, it, no, it is feasible. I know who but wins I, that got, division. Then let me have my you moment. got the Raiders, you got the Raiders in the you got the Bills Raiders and Bills. Bills. The the Bills already won. Oh, they already division. won the division. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, because the, the even though the um Dolphins have the Raiders this week, I see the Bills might be potentially like knocking them out of the of the playoff hunt next week on the last week. So it's a must win for either team. Man, these games win. are crazy, man. They're gonna be crazy. And you know, John Gruden, he's uh he's out for blood. He not, Yo, he's not it, trying to miss it, the playoffs. It's crazy how they're all playing each other too. Like we've never that's had cr- that right. That's crazy. You know, that's conspiracy. Crazy right. conspiracy. Vegas. <laughs> Vegas. Vegas. Get the ratings um, up. For sure. Uh Ravens have the Giants and Bengals next week. So we can I mean those are easily winnable yeah. games. Two and oh. Hopefully. So and then for the um NFC. I kind of like. I kind of think it's gonna stay like that. Uh, Rams, Bucks, and Cardinals, because the Bears, like you said, terrible coaching, and because the Vikings have to do a lot to get in there, including beat New Orleans, and they have to have some outside help, and it's a lot of outside help. So I just don't see the Vikings. And no, you're not talking about a lot of outside help, <laughs> Mister. I'll make the playoffs because, at because Phil told me <laughs> I'll make the that, playoffs that, at that the eight. Patriots were gonna win out. The uh, Ravens were gonna lose out. The no, no, no. The, the best part. Raiders were gonna lose out. The best part. The Dolphins the were gonna medium, lose out. The Raiders are gonna lose out. The the low medium draft pick. <laughs> I mean, man told me that three teams were gonna lose out, and he was gonna win out, and and, and that wasn't too much. But now the Vikings got to win out and need someone else to take two losses. That's too much. That's where we draw the line. I, I learned from experience. That's very hard. To See, do. There we go. There oh, we go. Man, oh, we're growing wild, on this podcast. Yes. You're wild, bro. So, yeah, I just see I just see the current wild cards looking the way it is as of right now. So no no 
changes for me in the NFC. I'd be okay with that, to be honest with you. I don't – I'd be okay with the NFC it. being in there like that, yeah. And the NFC, I said Washington weeks ago, and I'm still sticking with them. They win this weekend, they take it. So, will they win this weekend? I don't know, but they just need one win. So, I, I don't see them losing they twice the at this Panthers point. the Panthers and then the Eagles. Yeah, I think that – I think that's good. And even if they might even, they could probably even lose out in the way that the rest of this division is. They might lose out with them and it won't make a difference. So mm-hmm. I'm going with Washington there. Um, I just, I, I don't trust Chicago to be there when it matters. So I can't pick them. Um, and then I don't think that Arizona loses out. So I'm not going to pick Minnesota. So I think, like Phil said, I think that that just stays the same the, the way that the NFC lined up. And mm-hmm. the AFC, um, Vegas, I think they're they're cooked. Um, Miami, I think Miami makes it. Indy, I think they make it. But I'm still not sold on the Cleveland Browns because Baltimore is getting. What it. else? What else? Listen. What else do you need from them? Cleveland does play. The what, best what do I need from them? To put a to put a a, a grain of a grain of sugar on the, on their parade. That's it. I, I need them to make the playoffs. Is what I need. Right now, you got the whole. I've been here for. I've been, I've been here. I've been here for three years. That they're they're a great team. So, but so make the playoffs now. I don't think they're gonna make the playoffs though, because I think the Baltimore is gonna sneak in. Last hey, game, I think the you want to. We we should make if they make the playoffs. We should make a bet I got or a, something. I got a Johnny Manziel Cleveland Brown shirt. If they make the playoffs, I'll wear it on the pod. No, 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 no. What we gotta do is. If they make the playoffs, you gotta make a, you gotta make a PSA, and I'm gonna post it on YouTube to the channel. Oh, I'll apologize to them absolutely. If they prove me wrong, I'm, right. I'm a man of my word. I always am. All right, everybody heard that. Everybody Where's heard the Johnny that. Johnny Manziel jersey. I heard it. All right, you gotta wear the Johnny Manziel jersey too. The Johnny Manziel. <laughs> That's a t-shirt. What's oh, a t-shirt? Yeah, wear the t-shirt. So, so this weekend coming up, um, just with all the games, what's your what are some of y'all favorite games that y'all looking forward to? Uh, Besides. For Besides my Rams game, you mean? Yeah, besides, yeah, obviously you're gonna watch your team. So. Um, I really like, I really like the San Fran Arizona game, and I really like the Green Bay Tennessee game. Yeah, I like uh, Green Bay Tennessee a lot because um, Aaron Rodgers is always fun and Derrick Henry is fun, so I think that's probably my favorite one to watch. I'm going to go with the um, Eagles and Cowboys because just an excuse to laugh, laugh at the NFC East. Plus, I just want to see if Jalen Hurts can build up the momentum from the last two weeks. So, I'll Also, sneaky good game just for interest-wise. Chargers and Broncos, Justin Herbert versus Drew Locke. If Drew Locke can be what people think he's supposed to be, that could be a fun game to watch too. He yeah. just had a big week against Carolina. Yeah. And the Chargers don't have a good defense, so that might be fun. That might be a shootout. Um, I got I got three that I've been watching. Um, two because I just need them to lose. Um, the Bucks and the Lions. I'm hoping the Lions beat the Bucks. I don't think it's gonna happen. I hope so but, too. Uh, and I also got DeAndre Swift on my my fantasy team in the flex. Shout out to you. We need a big game from you. We need about three tutties. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but um, and then the other game is gonna be the Dolphins or Raiders. Um, John Gruden. Um, he's had time to put his team together. He has his entire roster. He's sitting at seven and seven. I don't know. Is Derek Carr playing? Carr playing? I have no clue. It doesn't matter. Because matter. They look Mariota. Great with Mariota. Mariota. They have a starting good. quarterback as their backup. Mariota's like this. Yeah. He's about to Ryan Tannehill, Derek Carr. He just might. He just might. Um, but yeah, obviously, my and then. The Saints game, I'm going to enjoy watching because it's going to be Christmas and everything. But those two games, I'm, I'm excited for. Um, just from the standpoint of it, it mattering so much, especially the Raiders and Dolphins. Keep a note, this will be the second time that the Raiders were like, what, six and three, six and four, and had a stronghold on a wild card and won't make the playoffs. So just everyone who says John Gruden is this great, this blah, blah, blah. This is, he's only, this will be the third or fourth time he's done this created with and the Bucks Jack- a couple times too. And like, draft so I'm analysts just, too. Draft analyst may, uh, Mike Mayock, sit them yeah. down. They don't need to be in there. But I'm just, I'm just, just want to throw that out there. He's so <laughs> great, but there ain't been no other coaches blown this many things. And think about that about Jets the game Falcons. too. They almost lost yeah. that Jets game. They, the lucky Greg Williams blitzed them. Exactly. Uh, he did that shit on purpose. He definitely did, and then he got he fired for it, and then they won yeah. won a game anyways. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he he definitely did that shit on purpose. Like he's sending KJ on on uh, four seconds left, 
fourth and 16. Crazy. You know, if, if they don't win that game, or yeah, if the uh, Raiders don't win that game, they're sitting at six and eight right now, and that means they would have lost every game since they started out at six and three, six and four, whatever it one was. But yeah. They beat the Chiefs. Yeah, th- they won their Super Bowl. That was their Super Bowl. That's probably when they started losing after that, right? I think it was. Uh, Let's see. I got the app open. But um, what? A, yeah, I'm gonna check that real quick. Let's see. Yep, they beat the Chiefs and then they lost to the Bucks. They then they beat the Browns and Chargers and the Broncos. And then oh, they, when they played the Chiefs the second time, they lost mm-hmm. to the Chiefs, Falcons, barely beat the Jets, lost to the Colts, lost to the Chargers. Yep, <laughs> ridiculous. And they got whooped by the the Patriots early on. But um, yeah. going from there, man, which uh, what's uh, what's gonna be your favorite food? We are talking about obviously drinks. What's the food you're looking forward to? And Mama Lacy, Mama Lacy, uh, if you're watching this, I need the pistachio. I've heard those on fire. I'm gonna have to- oh, these sisters so good, bro. They're so good. Every heard- time, every every holiday, she be posting on Facebook, and I'm like, yo, I need I need a package or something. I need. They are so good. Yeah, they're so good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna but, uh, what what are y'all looking forward to? Dessert, um, appetizers, main dishes. Cookies. What you're looking for? Cookies. Cookies. Mostly cookies. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big cookie guy. Yeah. I'm gonna miss my grandma's uh pound cake though. Uh, oh, okay. This year. Pound cake is that should be hitting. Everywhere. That's good too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sir. Cookies and all. Looking forward to the cookies. <laughs> cookies for sure. I'm looking forward to big – I'm a big Christmas basketball fan. I sit in front of that TV and I just watch NBA games, man. I love NBA basketball on Christmas. It's so good. Like, people wake up and they watch what uh, Christmas Story, like, 24 hours straight. Not me. I wake up. That NBA is going on. It's now, you know what changed it for me? You know what changed – this is great. It's, it's not going to be a segue, but it's a good – I always enjoyed it. At this point, when they made that commercial where they're all at the three point line, making the jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> that's when I started tuning in every Christmas. After I, I don't know why the NBA stopped making Christmas jerseys. NBA, why, yes. why did they stop making those? I don't know, but <laughs> that was a money machine. Oh, I, I, that's I why all the, the players network. still make Christmas ju- yeah. sneakers. Yeah, like, they know they what they're doing. Had sleeves, I think, I believe. Yeah, some uh, well, one of them had sleeves. Yeah. All right, man. Like uh, like I said before, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, I want to appreciate I appreciate uh, my boys for being consistent with me and everything. Make sure y'all go and follow us. Um, all our ads are in the description below. Um, and then you can follow IBTE Network, Inspired by True Events Network, at IBTE Network everywhere on all platforms. Appreciate y'all for tuning in.